what is it? What, what, what do you understand so far about that default mode network? It's, it, it's quite an elaborate system, and if you take it, look at its individual parts, you have to come away with the sense that the functions we can now associate with that have a self-referential component to Meaning them. Meaning what? Meaning well, what? for example... That if something is going to affect me? There is a self-referential connection mm -hmm. between the memory and me as a person. That we were an actor in the, in the event. Uh, what did I have for breakfast? Where was I yesterday? When did I meet this person? And so forth. So memory is a component of it, but it is a special part of memory, it seems, that has this self-referential component. Something else that, you, that is very important, if you then leap to the front of the default mode network, one of the distinguishing features are, are the areas there that are very often associated in general with emotion, but more specifically about the evaluation of incoming information to the brain. Is this good? Is this bad? Is this dangerous? And whatever. And it would be based on previous experience? Of almost for sure. And actually, it has also been associated with the mental state of other people. In other words, this theory of mind. That, mm -hmm. um, the de default mode network is involved in the theory of mind? It's some suggestion that it might be. In other yeah. words, your, the, your beliefs, desires, and intentions are very important to me, or mm -hmm. should be. How do you cope with knowing that about the default network? How do you apply that to people in prison who are, have not acted in their self-interest and, and are in fact highly self-referential and have tremendous self-esteem because they think they can outsmart the legal system? <laughs> they think, well, I can, if I do it right, I'm not going to get caught. When you then look at how the default mode network, in fact, was discovered, was in a context in which you, people were engaged in a task that wasn't self-referential, that it caused them to essentially lose themselves in the task. And so the network sort of... Damped down. Damped down. Yes. And so there is this give and take. Then you come into a situation where you have people that uh, act, it, act in, uh, as if they lack self-control, they're impulsive and the like. The question Maybe is, like the boy in our story. Yes. Okay. The question then comes up, well, how is this set of affairs working for him? Mm -hmm. In other words, when, in, when he's in this challenging situation, was he able to give himself the time to, to look at the circumstances and realize the consequences of what he was doing? Well, obviously he didn't. Mm -hmm. he, he did what would, I think one might say was a reflexive, if not impulsive act. Mm -hmm. He heard something, saw something, spun around, pulled the trigger, and somebody was gravely injured. But it's the question then, what was governing that kind of behavior? Who was in control at that point? Well, now here's the part that I don't get. If the default mode network is acting when you have less control over your impulse, but the default mode network is the one that keeps you regulated, uh, keeps, keeps you aware of what's good and bad for you in terms of other people and in terms of your own well-being, why wouldn't it want to refer to something a little more thoughtful before taking that action. There are two elements to the attention system. One is the red flag. So I'm in a room, and <clears throat> you and I are having a conversation, and I hear somebody behind me speak my name. I'm going to be alerted to that. I'm going to break up what I'm doing. Now, the, I think the trick is with self-control and impulsivity is what is the balance between these two? How are they lined up in, in terms of their relationship with each other? And it's there that, that self-control emerges. It isn't that even in the impulsive incarcerated juvenile that their default mode network doesn't go about business as usual, but it's putting it in a situation where you need to call upon the other system to step in and ex assert its, its balance or its, its, its role in saying, hold on a minute, default mode network. Let's take a look here at what's going on, that that balance is somehow or they're not set right. <laughs>